to AIW Intense TV. Matt Wadsworth being joined by Steve Guy. And Steve, tonight we're going to take a look back at the most recent event in AIW history, March 22nd, 2024. We were in downtown Cleveland at Temple Live for Tougher Than Leather. And fans, if you have not seen Tougher Than Leather yet, then hop on over to Triller TV Plus the streaming home of Absolute Intense Wrestling, and you can watch that show as well as so many more from the AIW archives over the years. Tougher Than Leather was jam-packed with action as usual, Wadsworth. We saw the continued battle of the production past and present. We have Cash's King still reigning supreme as Money Shot defeats PME, plus Eric Taylor still showcasing that his future is too bright. He retains his intense title over Dex Royal. The affiliate Chuck Stone defeats former intense champion Maserati Wes Barkley. But hey, Cash may be king, but the true king in AIW is still the problem. Isaiah Broner as he retained his title over the Prize City OG Alec Price. <laughs> AIW podcast said Alec Price is head and shoulders above everybody on the Indies. I took that shit personal. Ain't nobody head and shoulders above me. Thought he was a favorite over me. You a motherfucking fool. So I just underrated, underappreciated shit. I'm about to take everything I want. Barkley, I did exactly what I said I was gonna do, and that was crush you like the beer can I was enjoying last time at the Mercury Lounge. Wes, you strip everything away, what do you got? A badass, a fucker, and then there's Maserati Wes. I put the Maserati in the garage today, and from now on, all I'm doing is putting shit away. Putting shit away and showing everybody why I'm Chuck Stone, why I fuck, and why I'm the Bill Alfonso AIW Hardcore Memorial Tournament Champion. Those are the films that the director directs. Those are the movies that I direct. Whether you want the Technicolor technician or you want the silver screen slasher. I've bled buckets in AIW. I've wrestled circles around many people. Tonight I wrestled Joey Janela. 30 fucking minutes. We killed each other in that ring. I'm a pro wrestler. Magnum CK, you want to talk about this as being the end of the production? You want to talk about this as a rap? Magnum, this is my fucking movie. Magnum CK, fuck sports entertainment. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> because you know what? I am the only leading lady at AIW, and we are the production. <laughs> and scene. Derek, when you picked my poison, I wasn't sure what to think. My first thought was, I was excited. I knew that once Effie and Magnum C touched, Cleveland would never be the same. What I didn't expect is my old nemesis, my old foes, demolition, as usual, coming out of nowhere and throwing in the curveball, Dan Housen. My old friend, Effie's old friend. Didn't feel good. Didn't feel good to beat up a couple of my buddies. And I know what you're trying to do. And you tried to get in my head, Derek, and you didn't. You didn't. I squeaked out the victory against two of the greatest opponents I have ever or will ever face in my life. You know, Derek, you've been doing a lot of talking about my ass. You want to talk about my fragile ass. You know, I broke my back one week before I started an AIW and wrestled for a goddamn year with fractures in my spine. I wouldn't call that fragile. You want to say my insignificant, irrelevant ass? Well, I came out to Lakewood and no one had seen me in four and a half years because I don't know, I was out rehabbing my back, going through all of that physical 
chemotherapy, avoiding surgery, performing at the Second City, one of the most famous theaters in the world. You should try something outside of wrestling. You should get a hobby because I think it's melting your brain a little bit, buddy, because you seem to think that the year I spent in AIW, I was keeping you from championships, and the four and a half years I was away, I was keeping you from championships, and the nine months I've been back, I'm somehow keeping you from your precious little championships. Derek, I know it's not over. God, I can't wait for it to be over. But as I sit here in Cleveland tonight, it doesn't feel over. Derek, I don't think you're a director. I think you're a projector. I think you're putting all your insecurities on the Magnum CK and everybody else and making it their problem. Well, if you want to touch one more time, if you want to go one more time, I would consider it a date. I haven't been counting. I haven't been counting, but I think maybe this might be our third date. And I don't want to be presumptuous, but I think on the third date, I have a little bit of an expectation. And if I could be so crass on the third date, I am going to fuck you up. Cut. And that wasn't all that we saw at Tough Than Leather. We also saw this ongoing rivalry that has continued to persist between rookie sensation Tyler Jordan and the Cleveland legend himself, Josh Prohibition. And on top of that, we have this new grudge that's been brewing between Joshua Bishop and the returning Jason Bain. Indeed, Steve, in a tag team match where we thought we would finally get some answers and finality to this whole thing, it seems we're left with even more questions than we began with. Hey, you want some thoughts? I told Cleveland what it was all about. I told him when you step in the ring with two veterans, two legends in this sport, then you're done playing JV and you've been welcomed to the big leagues. And tonight, Bishop, you got welcomed to Jason Bain. Joshua Bishop, you want to go one-on-one -on -one with me? You know, you said you looked up to me when you were a kid coming up. How about when you and I go one-on-one, -on -one, I'll let you relive your childhood. Because when that night's over and the ref counts one, two, three, you're gonna be laying flat on your back, still looking up to me. Experience the most intense wrestling in the United States. Featuring the intense icon, Josh Bishop, the bone collector, Dominic Garini, the director Derek Dillinger, and more of the top names on the scene today. You won't find harder hitting professional wrestling anywhere else. For more information and upcoming shows, visit AIWrestling.com, follow AIW on social media at AI Wrestling. Josh Prohibition, this is the second straight time that we have lost to you. And that's a damn shame because I've proven time and time again that Tyler Jordan can beat you. I've beaten you one, two, three so many times, Jay Pro. Clean in the middle of the ring. But you went and got Jason Bain from whatever rock he was living under to come back and take my head off in the street fight. And tonight, you guys did get the better of me and Josh Bishop. But that's okay because 420 on 420 at the Tadmore Shrine. Bishop's gonna handle Jason Bain. So that means me and you are gonna have one final showdown, J-Pro. One final showdown. I don't give a damn if it's a street fight, steel cage, normal match, submission match, I quit match, last man standing. I don't give a damn what kind of match it is. Because I will leave zero doubt and prove without a shadow of a doubt that I am simply untouchable. And in a shocking turn of events, after finding huge success in a big tag team victory over to infinity and beyond, Dominic Garini would turn his back on his protege, Shaw Mason. Yeah, look, the Bone Collector has shown in the past that he has no problem making an example 
out of his students at the AIW Academy, and it looks like he plans on doing the same with Shaw Mason. Dom, what was that out there? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Take a look, packed crowd at Temple Live. Fans going crazy. I'm one of them. All night I've had my eyes on what's going on in there. I was gonna walk out. I was gonna walk out the winner of that six man. But even though I did it, everyone, everybody in this crowd knows that when I wanna be, when I have the opportunity, I am one of the most dangerous men, not in AIW, but in the whole damn world. I've got history with Dillinger. Maybe he's in my sights next. Maybe, maybe Chuck Stone wants to get a little, a little intense daddy and put that belt on the line. I was just watching Don Barino attack his former friend Shaw Mason. Maybe Shaw needs some backup. Maybe Dom needs a little beat down of his own. I like to be here and telling you that I'm done playing games. But let's be honest, I'm not. Just be sure that from now on in AIW, those games just got a lot more dangerous. Joshua Bishop, they had quite a few of their own brawls and battles over the years, but nothing more brutal than the match that some were willing to call the best match of Mania Weekend 2019. Yeah, it was an instant classic for AIW, so let's take you back to it. This from AIW's Slumber Party Massacre, April 4th. 2019, it's Joshua Bishop versus Dominic Garini in a submit or surrender match. It'll be interesting to see, Duke, that for those of you at home that have been watching the entire collective today, no, this is not Dominic Greeny's first match today. He's, we've seen him a couple times already today. It'll be interesting to see how that comes into play, what his conditioning is like. Well, you know, he wasn't gonna back down anyway. He prides himself on his conditioning, on being able to go as long as he needs to go, as often as he needs to go. Looking fresh out of 1986 with the cut up t shirt, the bandana, he's ready to wrestle. Josh Bishop making his way around the ring and what's become completely personal. For as much as people think Josh Bishop doesn't pay attention to the things that Dominic Greeny's had to say about him, he I talked to him before the show, he has taken in every single word, he's taken it personally. And, I mean, Josh Bishop just gets bigger every time we see him. It's interesting to see his new association with Wes Barkley. Wes Barkley's wearing swisher pants. What, come on, what do you want? I, well, you know what? I was gonna come on. They are comfortable, but come on. 
Dom Mugarini, this is definitely a different look from him. You see him out there. The camo shorts, the t-shirt, no gi. And, oh, flying knee to start it off. And right away, Bishop to the floor off the flying knee. Suicide right. dive by Garini. Right into the crowd. Took them both out, I think. West was going over there to check on him, and I think West went down. Dom just laying the, well, you can't say he's laying the boots, laying the kicks to Bishop. Oh, the two of them just firing back and forth. That forearm. I don't know exactly what happened, but these two legitimately just don't like each other anymore. Uh, Dom taking issue. I think Dom feels like Josh Bishop could be a guy who who isn't just wrestling for AIW this weekend. He's a guy who's who's got the look, he's got the size, he's got the athleticism. He should be a guy that's on his third match tonight. Dom feels like you see Dom feels like Josh just doesn't take it seriously, and I think. Dominic Greeny, Dominic Greeny doesn't have some of those same gifts. He doesn't have some of those same, he doesn't have the youth, the size, the athleticism. I'm, I'm confused as to why Dominic has a, I know he's the head trainer, but you can't just appoint yourself oh. the, the arbiter of, of who needs to do what outside of training. I mean, if Josh Bishop, Josh Bishop is, a, is a human being and can do what he wants. Jake Clement. He wants to party. If he wants to get crazy, if he wants to be quote unquote up for anything, and he can still perform, let him do it. Clement's in there. You know what? It looks like Josh found a bat. Shouldn't that bat be attached to a door? Found a couple of spikes. Josh found, it looks like, some road spikes. He found a bat covered in, in poppers. And oh, we all know. Other Anybody that's watched AIW for the last few years knows. Oh, oh he's, he's going, going for the, going to the cauliflower ear. Trying to open up the ear. Knows it. Trying to open up. I don't know if you ever see what it looks like when those cauliflower ears opens up. They just poured blood in whatever else that got stored in there. But back, back when I managed BJ Whitmer. Oh, the two of them. He had, he had some interesting run-ins with spikes with Dominic Garini. So Dominic's no stranger to this. The two of them toe to toe. And one more time with the spikes. Those two just driving the spikes into their heads. Josh, you see their son. Bishop down, Garini on the son. other side. Neither one wants to give up, and I don't blame him. Dom, Dom trying to get to his feet first. You hear Wes Barkley out there. You're gonna be out there and it's some ender match. Smash, you gotta do something. You gotta help your boy out. Barkley, oh! Just eats those hands! Holy those shit! Hoppers! And and wait That's a exactly second. what I was talking about. Wes Barkley in there with the chair. That's what I was talking about. Hey, it's no DQ. You do what you got to do. And submit or surrender. And a right hand. And that right hand across Wes Barkley. Pile driver on the ring apron. He spiked him on that ring apron with that driver. And, oh! Pump kick. But he did he did what he needed to do. He created the distraction, allowed Josh Bishop to hit that pump kick. And now Josh Bishop is in control. And these two are just a bloody mess. Bloody mess. What is Josh calling the, the front row down there in front of the stage out of the way. You gotta even wait till those fans get out of the way. Just laying into Dom. And now has the chair on top, and he's hitting that in the top. He doesn't have room to swing it almost. He's hitting the elbow, he's hitting the arm. Now trying to move those chairs out of the way. But I'd say get this back in the ring, but they don't have to. This one can go anywhere. What is that? 
Heads up. The action's coming our They're way. coming right at me here. Got a bloody Dominic Garini. I'm climbing up the stage right in front of our position. Oh, look at Thor. Josh has found a door under the ring. Oh, he's, made, he's building a contraption, Wadsworth. Putting the door between chairs. Now he's coming up. Now, oh, wait a second, right in front of us. Right in front of us. Josh has done. Awesome oh, oh my I'm God. Off the stage. Oh, oh my God. Door. Are you kidding me? Awesome Bob. Through the door. Through the chairs. He's not there, man. He looked right at me. He looked right at me. He is not all there. And Dominic Garini still will not give up. Josh Bishop is not in this building mentally right now. Grabbing the back of his head, the back of his neck. I, God only knows what condition he's in at this point. Josh Bishop is just finding all sorts of things under the ring at this point. Whatever he needs, he's using. Josh Bishop, a bloody mess himself, but in firm control of this matchup right now. I can't even see what's on that board that he brought in. Now it looked to be setting up for a choke slam. And instead, Tom swings it around! Driver! Tom calling for Jake to ask him. I don't know if Bishop can answer right now. Bishop. Bishop is like practically seizing in the ring. He right is, now. you can see his arms were frozen almost in that upright position. Oh, right now those arms might not move out of that position. Oh dear God, right across the face. He slapped him across the face with that tack-covered baseball bat. Now I don't even know where it is. Dom, Dom, it looks like got his hand on some, and some skewers he found under the ring. You gotta stop putting those under there, Wadsworth. Dom found the skewers under the ring. Oh, Bishop though coming up with the shots. And now, now he has got Jake. Jake is in there. Oh, he's putting him in his ear. Oh, going right into that cauliflower ear that he attacked earlier. Boot to the side oh. of the head. Hanging in his ear. Do you submit a surrender? And that was a whole lot less definitive no than we've been hearing out of Dominic Garini through this whole matchup. The crowd seems Josh, to enjoy this, but I, I gotta be honest, I'm a little put off by what we're seeing right now. I don't even know, Josh got something out from under the ring, and listen, Dominic Arini's got no one but himself to blame. He's the one that insisted on the stipulation. He brought out what is essentially a monster in Joshua Bishop. It looks like tack, a bag full of tacks now, being laid down in the ring. And now looking. Looking for a back suplex, Dom fighting it with all And of course, Dom, Dom's not wearing shoes either. Dom countering oh. and just inverted suplex face first. And senton, not even a senton, just sitting down, forcing Bishop's Josh. entire sternum. No. And I know that wasn't no. a no, that was just a grunt. No. You can see those tacks just all over the chest. The stomach, the arms. And now, going to just a choke at this point. The weapons Josh, won't work. Hey, maybe you can just choke surrender. him out. He keeps saying no, submit him. Now, wait a second. Oh, Dom's going to the Dom's eyes turn. Dom's turning those skewers into submission with the skewers. Josh, you surrender. Just trying to get away. Trying to oh, oh, the text. into the text. Those skewers go flying out of his head. Tom, do you submit a surrender? I, I know. 
And he, I'm, Dominic Garini is He's reconsidering. About and oh, that chair swung across the face. You can see I was talking about earlier with that cauliflower ear bleeding from the ear at this point, bleeding from the face. Joshua Bishop's a mess. Choke slam through the chair. Joshua Bishop is a mess, but I don't think he knows it. Look how he's walking around that ring. Still refusing, and Wes, Wes Barkley's made his way back out here. And Joshua Bishop motion to him. Joshua Bishop has handcuffs. Back elbow in the corner. And wait a second. He's got the handcuffs there. Wait a second. Wes Barkley looking. Can't cover him around that turnbuckle. Wes Barkley is handcuffing. Or what? Sorry, Wes Barkley. Wes Barkley's got lighter fluid in his hands. And you got to be kidding me! I listen. This is murder. Listen, I understand the guy won't give up. I understand this is a personal issue, but enough is enough. Jake Clements, don't even ask at this point. Just ring the damn bell. You were talking about a human being's life at this point. And Dominic Garini, with his life and his career in front of him, no choice. Submit. He had no choice, Wadsworth. He had to. Somebody's got to get Dominic. Un uncuffed here. I gotta get, gotta get Bishop and Barkley out of here. And listen, I understand. He's a walking disaster right now. He needs I, to get cleaned up. I understand the kid had something to prove, but this went above and beyond anything to do with professional wrestling. Experience the most intense wrestling in the United States. Featuring the intense icon, Josh Bishop, the bone collector, Dominic Garini, the director Derek Dillinger and more of the top names on the scene today. You won't find harder hitting professional wrestling anywhere else. For more information and upcoming shows, visit AIWrestling.com. Follow AIW on social media at AI Wrestling. So that's going to do it for this week's episode of Intense TV. Matt Wadsworth, always a pleasure to stand next to the president. I mean, you are the man, right? So if you have enjoyed this and you want to follow AIW and keep up to date on everything, you can go to social media, whether it's X, TikTok, Instagram. It's all at AI Wrestling. We're also on Facebook. You're probably already watching this on YouTube, but I'll tell you to you anyway, youtube.com slash AI Wrestling. If you want to support us and show off your love for AIW, go to AIWmerch.com. You can pick up hats, t-shirts, hoodies, and so much more. Also, if you want, uh, you know, a little bit more extra bonus things from roster and staff members, you can go to patreon.com slash AI Wrestling. And, of course, for upcoming shows and tickets, make sure you're going to AI Wrestling.com. And, Steve, speaking of those upcoming shows, the crowds have been getting pretty big, but there is always still room for you to join us live for all the action of Absolute Intense Wrestling. Your upcoming opportunities April 11th, Big Trouble, featuring the AIW return of everyone's favorite, Swoggle. April 20th will be in Akron for When the Smoke Clears, featuring some names we haven't heard from in quite some time. Hollow Wicked and Frightmare will be there live. And of course, one of the biggest annual events of AIW, Gauntlet for the Gold 17, May 24th in Cleveland, Ohio, featuring an unbelievable meet and greet opportunity, WWE Hall of Famer, Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle will be in the building for you to meet that night. Steve, you said it, it's been great. For Steve Guy, I'm Matt Wadsworth. Thank you for joining us for Intense TV.